Hey guys, the big question in this video is to have a homeschool room or to not have a homeschool room? That is the question. All right, so I know that was super corny, but I get asked all the time from brand new homeschoolers as well as just see it posted online. Do I have to have a dedicated homeschool space or a homeschool room to homeschool? And of course the answer is no, no you do not. Learning can happen absolutely anywhere and it does. So in my house, my husband would love if I would do all of our homeschooling in our actual homeschool space that I said, oh, I gotta have this actual homeschool space. Um, we moved to a new house a couple years ago and down in our basement, which I will show you in just a second, I have a table and a whiteboard and you know, I have our, my cubbies and I keep most of our uh, like supplies and things down there. So my husband, husband would love if I would use that space every day, all the time, and stay and and just stay out of our upper levels um but we just don't we honestly homeschool where it is most comfortable for us so some of those places that are most comfortable for us is in my bedroom right here some most of the time we sit on the floor or we sit on the couch occasionally we'll sit on the bed um, we definitely do a lot of our homeschooling on the floor in the living room or on the couch. And then we definitely do school a lot at our dining room table. Um, we always do morning time, like our morning basket at that kitchen table. But sometimes, and most of the time, we end up doing our afternoon school at the table too. So I have done school in our basement, of course, and we actually call the table in the basement the homeschool table. The kids just honestly craft at it most of the time, and I think eventually I'll get to getting in the habit of doing it more downstairs. It's not that it's not inviting or anything like that, but the kitchen's upstairs, our main living room is upstairs, just so we live most of our life upstairs, so that's why we do it. But no, you don't have to have a dedicated space, and that is okay. Now, I am really OCD about cleaning up immediately after um, we do school. So when I kind of rotate through my kids, um, one at a time, just because they're at completely different levels, so we do all of our stuff separately, it still only takes me an hour or less a day um, to get our school done by rotating between the three kids. But, you know, if I do my little guy's stuff, I clean up all his stuff and put it away. And then my middle one comes, we do her stuff, we clean it all up, put it away, and then my oldest one comes and, you know, and so on and so forth. So, it's not like I have my stuff spread all over the house and I suggest maybe that you don't do that just because you, it's really annoying when like you need a pencil and it's downstairs or you know just try to keep your stuff organized that way. But let me show you what our actual homeschool space that we call our homeschool space looks like. All right, so we're headed on down to the basement. You say hi guys. Hi, Eli's in my office. Well, that's okay. So this is our basement, our home school space. You can tell this is our homeschool table. That is pretty much a craft table, mostly for Eden. She's always making some type of Barbie creations out of our recycling. I do have a whiteboard. We do have some of our geography, or not geography, what is it? Our geology unit on there that we kind of never finished. We'll get back to that. You know, some maps. Oh, hi, buddy. How's it going? Um, our art cart, some more little storage. Our library is over there with some games. 
But yeah, this is where homeschooling in my husband's eyes should happen all the time. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out that way. I do love the space. It's really light and bright. And I hope to get back to a regular routine down. As of right now, it's just, you know, not our favorite place. And that is okay. So... I hope you guys found this encouraging that you can do school wherever you want and no homeschool space has to be super beautiful. Do I love seeing those Instagram pictures of the most amazing homeschool space? Of course I do. It's like, oh, you know, hashtag goals or something like that. But at the end of the day, your kids are going to be learning no matter what. They don't need to have a fancy space and you just do what is unique for your family. So I hope you have a wonderful day. We will talk soon. Bye-bye.